Well, everybody, good evening slash afternoon. In today's video, we're actually going to be raccoon trapping. They become a big issue lately. That's all we're getting on camera. They're not giving enough time for the deer to find the corn. So, we've got to put an end to it. I've been getting a bunch of big ones on camera, too. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get a hold of one of those guys. But it really doesn't matter. We just need to put a dent in their population. I actually got a new camera for Christmas. It's a spy point. It sends it back to your phone when something's on the corn or whatever it is, and it is cool. So I'm going to set this out on the trap so whenever this camera starts taking pictures, I will know I got a raccoon trapped. We'll know it's time to go down there and check it. Other than the game camera, we have my live trap right here. Not really sure what brand it is, but then we got our beta choice, which is dog food. Should work pretty good. This is what I've caught them on in the past down here, and uh, it smells pretty good, and it's going to be right on their trail, so I don't think it'll really matter. We just got to have some sort of bait to lure them in the trap. Now that I've got you guys filled in on everything, I'm going to go set this trap and this camera up. We'll see if we can get a raccoon tonight. Well, everybody, I think I found the spot where I want to set my raccoon trap. It's along this creek right here. I found some raccoon scat a couple days ago when I was squirrel hunting down here, so I think this is a trail they're using. I'm going to set it up between a couple of trees. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. All right, everybody, so I got the trap set. It's right over here by this little branch that's falling down. There's a couple of trees over there, a couple of trees right there. I'm going to put the camera right there on that tree, and it will be facing right here. Should be able to get it if any raccoon steps in there, and uh, I'm going to brush this in, and then we're going to head out. I got the camera all set up facing the trap over here. Trap's all set up, all baited up. It's getting pretty dark, but about to walk out and come check it in the morning. Let's see how many. We actually have a ton. Holy crap. Almost have 400 pictures, so I'm going to click through these and show you guys what we have on camera. Alright, so it looks like we got some squirrels. That's actually a really big fox squirrel. But that's not what we're looking for. Lots of pictures of fox squirrel. There's another one way back there. But this guy's pretty big. We're gonna click through all these. Bunch of squirrels. Holy oh man, look at all that. That's one, two, three, four, five in one picture. Holy cow. Okay, we're getting into some nighttime. Look at this. Big bunny. Oh look at that raccoon. Okay, see this is the reason why. Got these big guys coming in here. Look at them. That guy. Oh, there's a possum. Possum and a raccoon. That's a pretty big possum. It's actually a really big possum. We got rabbit. More raccoons. They're big, too. Really big raccoons. Look how big that raccoon is. Okay? You can't tell me that is not a big raccoon. He's freaking huge. I don't even know if that'll fit in the trap. Look at this possum. That is a big possum. Oh my gosh. See, look how big these raccoons are. I think I need to set the trap up here. Oh, there's a deer. It's a little spiker. And that's all the pictures. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of little critters running up here at the sand. I only got one picture of a deer. Might just not be a good place for deer, but anyways, there's a bunch of little critters up there. and I need to set a trap up there, I'm thinking. I'm going to let it sit down there for the next couple days. And if I don't end up getting a raccoon or something like that, I think I'll move it up here and I should be able to get something. There's so many little things running through there. I don't see how I can. Well, everybody, last night was the night we actually got some raccoons um, on the camera. We actually got one in the trap, though. Unless he got out last night, I don't think he did, though. Got pictures of seeing him going inside the trap. It was super cool. I'll show you guys the pictures, and then we're going to go down there, check this raccoon out. So last night, started getting pictures at, like, 6 or, like, 7 o'clock. Just look at all these pictures. But I got in one during the day, and nothing and then look, you can start to see him show up. He's in the bottom left-hand corner. And then another one shows up. Then there's two eating on it. And then they just keep eating. And then I think one leaves and a bigger one comes in. 
eventually there's one that gets very curious. So look, he's starting to climb into the trap, and then his buddy's watching him from behind. And then the next picture, we got him in the trap. And there's just a few more of him in the trap, and then I guess he went to sleep or something. So we're going to go down there, and we're going to go check him out and uh, see what we can do. Oh boy, we got old Ricky the raccoon. Whew. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. There he is, right there in the trap. Whew. He is a plump little sucker. I'll tell you guys that much. Look at him. Takes up about half the trap. Pretty big. All right, everyone, now that you guys have gotten a good little look at him, I'm going to grab my 22 that I brought with me. We're going to dispatch this little guy. Then we got some work to do. All right, everybody, so the deed has been done. I dispatched the raccoon. YouTube is very particular about what it sees, so I'm going to watch this guy off before I show him to you guys. I'm going to pull the camera up because it's about to rain, and uh, we're going to skin this guy out. Well, everyone, I got the raccoon all cleaned up. He's actually got some good size to him. He's about 15 pounds. Got my boot right here. My boot takes up about half of him. And uh, the tail right here is really pretty. I'm going to be cutting it up and salting it. But other than that, I think I'm just going to leave the rest of the raccoon alone. Our main goal was accomplished, getting a raccoon off of the deer corn. And that's what we did. It will be one less raccoon stealing from the deer. Time for me to wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Got my raccoon here, I gotta clean him up and it's starting to rain, so if you guys did enjoy, be sure to comment down below if you guys wanna see me do some more trapping videos. It was worth it, got a raccoon off the corn, put a little dent in the population. But uh, anyways, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and some fishing with fits, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.